But African abacus, believe it or not, is one of the greatest examples of hidden in plain sight there ever was. Singling it down to a single nation, location, or nationality would be incredibly difficult because we have evidence of these abacus found in Kemet on the rooftops of temples in ancient Egypt or all the way down in southern half Africa found in ruins that are tens of thousands years old. Now many believe that the boards carved into the rooftops of these temples were used for the astronomers to play games as they waited for the sun to set. In reality, they were the calculators that those same astronomers used to calculate the movement of the stars through the night, lays of land, and practice this ancient math system. What is this African abacus? So the African abacus is a manual computation device developed by African scholars. It goes by many, many different names. Mancala, Ayo, Isibaya. There are dozens of different names and even more ways to play it throughout the world. There are some similarities that you can find on all of these games, no matter where you look across the continent. They all involve a board, with holes in certain rows, and those number of rows and columns vary. You can have two by six boards, three by 12 boards, four by 16 boards, it really depends. And beads that are used to compute or to, they're, they're the counters for when you play these games. What we're going to be going over with African math are the more ancient unknown games where our ancestors actually used this same board that many consider to just be a game as a calculator and the same calculator that they use to build the pyramids. And I'm sure as we go deeper into this, you'll see just how amazing of a tool this is and we're just scratching the surface with how we understand and the applications of this game.